Hi, I'm Dr. Tanvi Reza, Senior Chest Specialist in Manipal Hospital, Salt Lake. You can't recognize me because I'm wearing a mask and I'm wearing a mask for a specific reason. It should act as a reminder to everyone watching this video that once you are outside, once you are in a crowded place, once you are within four or five feet of anyone, please keep the mask on. Otherwise, what happened during COVID is unfortunately going to happen again. The virus is different. The symptoms might be different. But now I'm going to take the mask off so that you can see who I am. Right. In the last 20 years of practicing in Kolkata, I've never seen so many people coughing. Why do we cough? We cough if you have an infection in the chest or upper airway or throat. Coughing can be very, very, very strenuous to the extent that you can pass out or you can even leak urines. This happens especially in ladies or females. It's a very unpleasant thing and there's no easy solution. Now, why is it happening now? And what shall we do about it? First thing is it possibly is happening because of upper respiratory viral infections. Add pollution and it becomes a deadly cocktail. I've never had to admit so many patients in hospital just for treating this severe cough. Neither have I had to use so many nebulizers to get rid of it. What can we do about it? The most sensible thing to do is to try not to get upper respiratory tract viral infections. Now, COVID was just an upper respiratory tract viral infection which actually went to the lungs and caused severe problems leading to death. Most of these viral infections now are not that deadly, but they are severe enough to cause you to land up in hospital or take multiple antibiotics, which decrease the body immunity. So the first thing I would suggest you do is keep your mask on once you're outside the house or you're in an enclosed, enclosed space where there are lots of other people. For example, right now I've taken the mask off because there's no one around me who I can get a viral infection from. Similarly, when I'm seeing patients in the clinic, I am masked 100% of the time. Second, and this is especially important for my patients who have asthma, COPD, chronic bronchitis, emphysema. All these patients would have been prescribed inhalers and they should not stop the inhalers without consulting the doctors. Third thing to do would be to generally remain healthy, get some exercise on a regular basis, check your diet, keep your weight down, Stay as mobile as possible, as in move around. Don't just sit in one place for hours. That leads to a decrease in your overall immunity and your health, and you tend to gain weight. Along with weight comes multiple issues like diabetes, blood pressure, and cardiac problems. So these are very simple things which we can all do in our day-to-day -day life without trying out or having to buy expensive equipment or take expensive pills. Hope this helps. Bye.